All right, so this is the Tomoquads Hayabusa V2. It's a three inch. Um, I remember building another Hayabusa, the original one. Um, trying to remember if it was a two and a half inch. I think he had a two and a half and a three inch. Pretty sure I remember doing a two and a half inch. I don't think I did the three inch one. So when the V2 came out, uh, I only saw three inch. So that's what this is. Um, pretty beefy. It's pretty light, but it's still really durable. I mean, it's really stiff and strong. Um, it has four parts. It has the top plate, the bottom plate, and then two arms. So you can see the front and back arms are separate from each other. Uh, so two arms in the front, two arms in the back, but they're just one piece each. So, yeah, it makes it pretty simple to swap out, I guess, if you break one. Kind of like the uh, Kamikaze. I got a spare arm of one of those. So it's just like that, pretty much. We can just take two screws out, put the new one in, put two screws back in, you're good to go. But uh, I don't see this one breaking too easily. This one's pretty strong. Um, so the arms, they're three millimeters thick. And then the bottom plate is two, and the top plate's two, so especially right here it's really really strong because you know it's basically five millimeters of carbon so the arms don't really bend too easily pretty strong yeah it feels pretty tough um so you can do a double stack in here um just a second i got the turtle up front and then i have a hglrc stack in the back um, I was telling Tomo that you could probably do 20 millimeter standoffs. These are 25 and I think 20 millimeter might be, uh, in my opinion, it, it would look better. Uh, and you can see that there's a ton of space. I mean, look how much space there is, especially now that the HD cams just have one, um, it's a one stack, you know? So yeah, a lot of room, especially if. If I was just using a regular like four in one and a flight controller, you know, I could get that stack down pretty low. And then if I wasn't using this HGLRC VTX, the VTX could go just right on top of the flight controller, which would bring it down quite a bit. You might even be able to get away with 15 millimeter standoffs. But the problem is the camera wouldn't fit. So let's see. 15. Uh, that would be cutting it pretty close. Actually, no, that would that would work. Just barely. If you were using something like a Unify, you could get away with 15. But like I said, the camera, you wouldn't be able to use these cam plates. So it has these cam plates. It has slots. You can slide it forward and back. I got it all the way forward. And uh, you can see where the camera is at with it all the way forward. It's not even sticking out. Plus, you have this bumper up front. So the camera is like completely protected. Very good. Um, but yeah, if you... So it does also come with these other style of uh, camera mount that goes on the standoffs. Like these ones. So it just goes over the standoff and then you just screw the camera into the hole in the side of it. And uh, if you did it that way and didn't use these cam plates, then you could use 20 millimeter. Um, I haven't tried it myself, but I'm pretty sure you could get away with 20 and still have room to be able to tilt the camera. Just barely, though. But Yeah, pretty cool design. It also comes with um, these two pieces. I didn't know how it went together when I first saw it because here it is right here. Let me show you real quick. There's these two pieces that go together. So this goes over the standoffs and then this gets a long M3 screw through it and that way you can tilt it. And this is for your uh, receiver antennas. So you can see on here, I got it tilted all the way down, but you can tilt it up or you could just leave it up. And then if you were to get in a crash, it would just hit this and knock it down like that you know so you're never going to break your antenna tubes and the antenna tubes fit in there really tight 
So no more losing antenna tubes either. I've done that a bunch of times in a crash. Go to pick up my quad and one of the antenna tubes is missing. Yeah, pretty cool design though. I like it. Um, I also am using the the new Emax 1306B motors. These are uh, 1306 4000 kV. They also have a 2700 kV. Um, and these motors are insane, especially on 4S. So this thing flies really nice on 3S, but, and then it just screams on 4S. So it's pretty awesome that you can, you know, depending on how you want to fly. And this is a HD quad, you know, so it is going to give you nice HD footage. And, uh, he also made it to where the front arms kind of sweep back a tiny bit, just slightly. So that way the props are not in view at all, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, um, this video is just going to be showing the frame or the quad. And then, uh, as soon as the weather clears up, let me show you what it looks like outside. It's pretty crappy out there. So, yeah, as soon as we get some decent weather, I will be able to get you some nice footage. Um, and let me show you what this thing sounds like. Do a little hover for you. All right, so let me show you that. Welcome to OpenTX. All right, let's check this thing out. Nice and smooth, so you can get some really nice footage. And then listen to how these motors sound. <laughs> they scream. Yeah, so that was good. pretty nice. I'm really liking these motors. Um, when I first ordered a set, I had a bad one, brand new out of the package. It had a broken wire on it, but uh, and I didn't want to mess around with getting a hold of Emacs or whoever to try to get a new one. So I just ordered a new one and slapped it on there and. Now they're all good to go. I'm sure that was a fluke. I've had that same thing happen with their 1106 motors. When they first came out, you know, I got one bad one. And then I probably ordered 50 sets since then. And not one motor was bad, you know. So, But yeah, these are really nice motors. I like them. They're a good price. And they just scream on 4S. And they, they still have quite a bit of power on 3S, too. Um, these are good props, too. If you're wondering, these are Jim Fan uh, 3035s. Really nice props. They've been out for a while, but one of my favorites. So, yeah, there is the Tomo Quads Hayabusa V2 3-inch HD platform. Uh, it's basically made for top mount battery. You can see it has the slots there for the battery strap. Um, I, For the most part, I like having the battery on the bottom, so it's not easy to... I mean... It depends on what stack you're using, but you should be able to get a uh, battery strap in there, especially the, the one that comes with the frame. It's pretty narrow, so shouldn't be a problem to fit it in there if you want to do bottom mount. But yeah, there it is. All right.